Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. 647 on this Tuesday. You'll need the jacket as you step outside today waiting mm -hmm. for the bus and then later you can take it off. Yeah, yeah. or maybe a later seat warmer seat. during the morning commute. <laughs> You don't need to mock me, Adrian. I no, just it's needed this morning. It's, it's cool. Depending on who you are, sure. Depending yes, on Dep are. depending on your temperature preferences, <laughs> Mr. I want the AC on in the studio AC over here. Day. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it'll be warm enough to have the AC on today, so that's the most important thing. It might not even be enough to necessarily leave the windows open overnight. It just depends on your preference, of course. But what I can tell you, pretty confidently we're expecting mostly sunny skies across the region from start to finish not just for today but for the foreseeable future and temperatures will be warming up as well it doesn't look like summer wants to bid us farewell just yet but humidity also does return this weekend it's not in a huge huge way but something you'll notice especially if you're sensitive to it so temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s and that's thanks to a northwest breeze keeping us a little bit cooler for this time of year than average. High pressure is in control though. That's keeping a lot of the eastern seaboard in the Ohio Valley very quiet weather wise. So us meteorologists are a little bit bored here in our weather centers with no actionable weather to really talk about. But storm tracker is mostly quiet other than some fog that we're dealing with at this time. One of those spots that was struggling in the visibility department was Saranac Lake and that is still the case. This is the view looking towards Baker Mountain in the distance and Rutland was one of those spots that actually got much worse within the last half hour or so. We should be able to see the church steeples in the distance there in the city and can't really see all that much beyond less than a half a mile. So be prepared to use those fog lights and spots this morning, but by t this afternoon it'll be beautiful outside. Tomorrow basically copy and paste, but I think we'll add a few more clouds, especially over the Adirondack Park in the Green Mountains. And Thursday will be a mostly sunny start to the day as well. Again, fair weather clouds in the afternoon. We're really just copying and pasting all these days together. The only thing that we will notice in the sky tomorrow is some wildfire smoke building in. I think this will paint the sky with vibrant colors as the sunrise comes up over the horizon tomorrow. Not affecting air quality at the surface. Just want to really highlight that and drive that home. But we are expecting mostly dry weather, not just this week, but even into next week. This is released by the Climate Prediction Center. In addition to that, warm temperature wise. So we're talking about highs in the upper 70s and low 80s in the extended forecast. So really beautiful weather. Summer really paying us a nice visit even as we get close to the autumn equinox this weekend. Looking beautiful as well. Temperatures in the low 80s. Back to you.